been, it may be that our pilot of the DR-1 is going to make a forced landing. And it would appear that this has not gone without notice by our small contingent of members of the Allies with their battery of the Lewis gun. Our British staff officer commanding his gun battery to fire at the DR-1 as it attempts either to make a low pass, or it may very well be that the pilot, Lieutenant Klimke, decides that it's too much and that he's going to make a landing right here on our field, and it's been a hard landing. Our pilot, Nelson Eske, is still firmly in the cockpit, our ground crew moving with great rapidity to remove our pilot from the airframe. Please remain calm, everyone, as our ground crew assists our pilot from the cockpit. Hard landing such as these not uncommon on front lines. Please, as our crews work to right the plane and return it to our flight line. It appears that there is material to be recovered on the ground. or the integrity of the plane itself because the DR-1 employed a cantilevered wing. The struts on the side served only to help dampen and reduce vibration. And they were installed at the instigation of the German High Command and also to help cure vibration problems in the original DR-1 prototype. High Command and also to help... The plane was seen Good. 